This afternoon, the calls came pouring in to our First Coast newsroom. People wanting to know why there were so many police cars in their neighborhood. Good evening and welcome to First Coast News at 6. I'm Jeff Vallon. We sent a crew out to that neighborhood on the city's far north side to find out some answers. And that is where Kaylee Tracy joins us live. Kaylee, what have you learned so far? Well, Jeff, a sergeant with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office on scene here tonight. He told us a little earlier today that all of the suspects involved in that string of burglaries in this neighborhood on the north side have been put into police custody and they have been brought downtown for questioning. Now, he did not specify and could not answer at the time how many suspects there were, how many burglaries there were in this neighborhood. But we've talked to neighbors, one of them telling us that when his neighbor across the street here came home today, he found who he believes to be a suspect in this bushes in front of his home. He says then that teen who he believes again is a suspect in this got in a confrontation with that homeowner. The teen then got away. Now the sergeant says several homes again in the Denton Road and Tiki Lane area were burglarized earlier today. We saw officers bringing bags in and out of the home that you're looking at at the end of Denton Road. The sergeant on the scene says this home was not burglarized but is related to the burglary investigation. The sergeant says the woman at the home is not cooperating and neighbors tell us that it's usually a quiet area where everyone knows everyone but says a lot of new people have recently moved in. Well, I mean, I've known all these people since I was 13 years old, you know, so I mean, everybody looks out for each other and, the, you know, I see my sister and her husband live, you know, right there. JSO is still investigating this incident tonight, and we're told if you know anything, again, please contact JSO. You can call Crime Stoppers as well at 1-866-845-TIPS. And again, we do want to remind you that all the suspects, we're told, are in police custody. For now, reporting on the north side, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.